so apparently, very apparently, um, YouTube is trying to remove view count and upload dates. I'm not kidding. They actually do, apparently. I've just recently, like, seen a few things here and there. No actual video, and then they're like, what actually is going on? But according to this video title, and according to some t uh, Twitter uh, uh, posts that I've seen, apparently they are removing the view count and the upload date. Um, that That's pretty much all I currently know. Um, I think this is a bad decision, and the reason as to why this is a bad decision is, first of all, if there's no upload date, you trick people into clicking older... The, well, yeah. You trick people into clicking older vi videos, you also kind of gaslight people. Uh, remember the one... Uh, uh, one Direction... Was it One Direction? I think the One Direction da guy? Apparently with that uh, test, uh, videos like that, for example, I'm back from that One Direction guy who has passed away. Um, This was would be in your recommended, which would mean that some people may have to be tricked. For example, fans would be tricked into thinking that that person isn't actually uh, dead, and then they will click on it. Really weird. Also, removing you count is also really weird. It's it's just like oval. <laughs> I'm still mad about the dislikes. Yeah, I'm gonna. It is super weird with the dislikes. Even I, as the content creator, have to go out of my way to even see dislikes. It is, it is really weird. I have to specifically, like, look in the YouTube studio, uh, uh, like, in YouTube studio to find even dislikes for myself. Really weird. Uh, but yeah, um, let's do this. Let's get into it. This video is sadly... Also, YouTube is removing the view count and upload date by... Cube Dimensions. Let's go not clickbait. Now I uploaded a video confirming that YouTube is changing the color of the logo from red to what they officially refer to as magenta infused gradients. I was shocked that Yeah, the magenta infused gra infused gradients look weird. It's also like uh r here down here when you look at like the the um like how the viewer thing the video length, it will appear magenta and the first time I saw this I thought my uh my my uh screen was broken and it wasn't broken. And stop uh uh UMW. Hello, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. My video exploded, so I decided to take a look at the YouTube subreddit to see if people were discussing the change there. I was amazed to see my video mentioned at the top of r slash YouTube, but the top post of the day ironically wasn't about the magenta change, but it was the fact that YouTube's homepage was not showing the view count and date on any of the videos for this person. Since when? Someone jokingly responds, buy YouTube Premium Pro to get it back. They are running limited tests to see what impact does it make when the viewer doesn't know how many views a video has. Wait, 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 uh, wait, 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 <laughs> okay, if you have YouTube Premium, like, the Premium Premium version of YouTube Premium, you get the view count and the dates back. I heard that if you have Premium Lite, uh, uh, you still get ads, I heard that, I can't confirm, I don't have YouTube Premium, I will never get YouTube Premium, you will never make me, but this is weird, this is, this is odd. To say the least. As before they click. Smart. Now this may have been a coincidence, but sadly, someone in the last 24 hours has reported that their YouTube homepage is showing no views or upload dates. Now somebody mentioned that they were recommended a video by that deceased One Direction member announcing that he was back. Now this is pretty interesting timing that the YouTube algorithm would share a video announcing he's back when he recently passed away in the last month. Imagine if this video started getting pushed out with no upload date. A lot of One Direction fans would be baited into thinking he faked his death for attention if they saw this in their YouTube recommendations without the time it was published. The first half of the screenshot on that Reddit post which shows my video in the background was used in Dex Zerto's announcement of this change where they said YouTube is reportedly testing a homepage layout without view counts and upload dates. That is so weird. That makes no sense. Are they trying to get people to click on older videos? Could, could that be the case? It's just weird to me. Huh. I also wonder what the impact would be uh, on, like, videos where you don't see the view count. 
And what 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 did it even do? Like what did the removal of the dislike button even do? Realistically, I think just people in general would less like either give less dislikes and less likes, or either less dislikes. But it's still weird. YouTube actually did respond to this post on X. However, before they did, a lot of people were complaining. Marcus Bradley responds and says, stop chasing Netflix and just be YouTube. Which if you don't know, Netflix actually got rid of their rating system. So there was no way of actually telling what other people thought of their titles. YouTube will do everything in their power to fix things that are perfectly fine and ignore them. Netflix got rid of the rating system? Hey, I guess they have to hide the slop that they're making, so it kind of makes sense, right? Kind of makes sense. Every Everybody remember uh, cuties? <laughs> the things that need fixing. View counts and dates matter in selecting between videos on the same topic. I get from a product perspective what they're trying to do, but this isn't better for viewers. Or the view counts matter, not as much as the dates. The dates, however, do matter, because if you look at, like, a certain topic, you pretty much want the most... Um, recent um depiction of that topic you want the most recent recent uh information about this if you re however remove the dates it it, it kind of def like sucks because you have to watch multiple vid videos i guess i would just put the date in like the video description or something just to piss youtube youtube off Creators. Somebody did show their support for this change saying seconded. Hiding view counts makes a lot of sense. That'll boost smaller creators. I'm cool with that, but dates are vitally important. If you're researching food safety or something, you don't want a video presenting the latest data from 2006. Hide views, keep the dates. Bro, don't be cool with Lunchly. They will keep taking away KSI from us. First it was dislikes, now it will be the view counts. Imagine the amount of click- Wait, wait. <laughs> oh my god. KSI and Lunchly catching strays. He replaced- Shit with uh with uh Lunchly, and shit again with KSI. That is wild. Uh, yeah, it's just like the view counts are important. Yeah, clickbait and scam ads. Remember that? Yeah, th this is gonna this is gonna suck. Clickbait and scam ads. This will have an insane amount of repercussions. Genuinely, what is wrong with people? I'm actually shocked at how many people are just okay with YouTube implementing horrible changes and attempting to fix Roblox that isn't broken. The dumbing down of society might be real. There's no other explanation. Team YouTube finally responded on X by saying this. Dick Zerto, jumping here to clarify that this may happen if viewers are watching YouTube with certain browser extensions enabled. If they disable extensions and still encounter this homepage experience, they can submit a report here and we'll investigate. Do not do this, please. Now, one of the most memorable things that YouTube actually tested removal of and then pushed it out permanently was the dislike count. YouTube Rewind 2018, which had a bunch of creators, became one of the most disliked videos on the platform. And <laughs> Look at that tasty 50 million dislike ratio. Jesus. <laughs> wow. 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 Look at that crispy 15 million. Ooh. <laughs> I remember that. And then the next year, they didn't even bother inviting any creators to make their yearly recap. Then in 2021, YouTube announced they were removing the dislike button, and the co-founder of YouTube commented on YouTube's announcement where he said, Matt doesn't look excited because he knows it's the wrong decision. I couldn't find the original comment that the co-founder made on their announcement of them removing the dislike button because the video announcing the removal of the public dislike count was mass disliked and then privated by YouTube. A change like this would be absolutely insane. There's a video from ages ago that I think of that would be absolutely perfect in regards to how bad this could affect everything. This guy made a video about how Rockstar Games actually sent him a copy of GTA 6 in the mail. Oh god, there it is! There it is, people! <laughs> nobody's believing that! <laughs> Nobody, nobody's believing that. Absolutely fucking nobody's believing that. No way, no way in hell. Oh, there the original video was mass disliked and people were angry at this. However, if you hover over the date of the original upload, this video where this YouTuber completely lied, saying that he received a copy of GTA 6, was uploaded on April 1st, meaning all you had to do was look at the date of the original upload for you to know that this was a joke. Ironically, this video was uploaded five years before the trailer, and this is what he says. Here we got the game, and it looks like, from what I see, it takes place in... Uh, South Beach, which I guess that means Vice City. Knowing the date the video was uploaded is extremely important for knowing the context of what it's- Rest in pieces, all those April Fool's jokes. 
<laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> oh no, that ca that really sucks, man. What's going on during the time of the original upload? If the removal of the view count and date actually gets pushed out, this is going to be very devastating for a lot of people using the platform. Since YouTube is officially turning magenta, subscribe to the channel to. Ugh, YouTube is joining. Yeah, the again, I thought my screen was broken. Yeah, this kind of bad. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. Um. I could see how removing the view count kind of uh, at least boosts small channels, but um, for the date, it kind of sucks for a lot of reasons. First of all, April Fool's jokes. Second of all, uh, videos on multiple topics, you want to mo get the most accurate de depiction. Um, and you want the, the latest news, this will fuck this completely over. Let's hope that they do not push through with this. And honestly, if they do, I'll just put I'll just put the views and the date straight up in the, the into the description. What are you gonna do? Take it out? 